Sometimes I carry on a little bit. Um, I want to thank you all for all your support. Uh, again, the people who are standing here today are kind of the people who have been through everything and the through and through, and I appreciate that. We are moving forward with this campaign. There are only, believe it or not, less than four weeks left. So this is all coming down the pike, all the hard work, all the fundraisers, all the phone calls, all the door knocking, all the time I Facebook you and text you and call you and press you about this, that, and the third. We're coming down the pike here. And thanks to you, we have the resources we need to compete. And we know we're being effective. Because we're getting the phone calls from the other side where people are getting called in left and right to make the difference. When you see an office open down the street from us on Tremont, you know we're making an impact. And the thing is, listen, my opponent, Mark, he's not the worst person in the world. I know some of you might disagree with that, and that's fine. <laughs> not the best either. No, no, not at all. But at the end of the day, the people who are giving him all this money, they're at a critical disadvantage. They cannot vote. They live outside this area. They cannot vote in this election. This is your voice, and who's going to go represent you down at City Hall? So for everyone who's up there, from Stag to D'Alessio to the rest of the members of the Legion of Doom. They cannot vote in this election, but you all can. And we have worked so hard to make sure that everyone is registered and registered in the Democratic Party and has signed the right forms and checked the right boxes. Many people like Steve who did it free of charge to make sure that your voice will count on September 12th because there is so much that is on the ballot on September 12th. And again, they have money, but they cannot match our infrastructure. We have a great staff, many of them sitting in the back there. Yay. Jacob and Lori and Alex are here. And Alex, it's Alex's birthday. Yay. 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 He's a popular guy. Oh. I'm a cookie. You know. <laughs> Marshmallow. We have good staff. We we have people. There are people out knocking doors in every neighborhood every single day. We have people on the phones every single day. Kerry's on the phone. My mom's on the phone. We are doing really, really well. And again, the enthusiasm we have, money can't buy that. No amount of money you raise will tell people that you care. It, it's a genuine thing. It's what you've done over these past few years. And I am confident, absolutely confident, that if we reach the people we need to reach, if the average person turns out on election day, we can win this race. Yes. But I, like everything else in this campaign and why I hit you all up to come to these things, I can't do it alone. So this, the people in this room are the through and the through. I mean, you guys are with me through everything. If you can donate three hours a week to knock doors, make calls, hand out flyers, that's what's going to win this race. It's that person you have an interaction with on the doors, who you meet, who I'm never going to meet that you can convince to vote for me. That's going to make the difference. So I need you all, one last time, again, there is, there is light at the end of the tunnel, we're three weeks away, but if we finish strong, we're going to shock the hell out of everybody who's involved with the county machine and down at City Hall, which is what we said. Yeah. People vote, not money. That's right. People vote, not money. So, again, speak to my staff back there. Let's sign up some times for people to vote. Let's go out there, let's win this thing. Thank you all so very much.